Hi, I'm J.D. Gunnell. And I'm Jerry Goodspeed. We're here at the Varga Arboretum, part of the Utah State University Botanical Center in Kaysville, Utah. And we're here to talk about how to plant a bare root tree. We are here right at the tail end of spring. You can see some of the plants in bloom behind us. Normally you will be able to get your bare root trees from the early spring until late spring. And this is about as late as you're ever going to get a bare root tree, um, middle of May. The number one thing to keep in mind is to keep those roots damp or moist because even though the tree's dormant, you want to make sure those roots stay moist to keep alive. And we've kept them here in some bark and this bark is really wet. Some people will even throw them into a container with just water, keep them wet. Another important thing to remember on planting bare root trees is to look for the graft union. It's a swollen area right here where they've attached or grafted two different plants together. The rootstock, and this is considered the scion or the, the growing portion. The other important thing to remember is one of the mistakes people make is planting it too deep. We want the eventual soil level to be right at this point right here. This is called a root flare. This is where those roots flare out right at the base tree. That's where we want the soil level to eventually be, right there. So we're gonna do some root pruning. When these trees are dug, they're dug by machines. We're just gonna make sure that the tips of the roots have a clean cut, make it easier for them to, to seal over and to form new little root hairs. We've dug our hole here and we've tried to make it two to three times as wide as the roots are, and we don't want it too deep. So we've mounted up a little bit of soil. We'll put our, we'll put our tree down, and now we're gonna, JD will show you a little trick to make sure that that root flare isn't too low. You can see here at the bottom of the shovel is where the final grade is gonna be, and that is right where our root flare is. So now we're gonna fill in the hole around the roots and as much inside of the roots so that there's no air gaps. So we finished planting the tree. We've built a little reservoir around it so that after we've got the tree in the ground, now we can water it real thoroughly. And it's important that we give it plenty of water when we first plant it. Watering also helps in settling any of the air pockets that we've created in digging the hole. And we may have to come back and, and check it a little bit later. Tamp it down a little bit, keep it solid. Follow these easy tips to have success in planting bare root trees. And for more information, go to our website, extension.usu.edu. Mm -hmm.